What is up, handsome gamers? Relic here. Hope you're all having a great day, and welcome to yet another Nidalee Jungle commentary. I hope you guys are uh, enjoying uh, the, the the content. I'm just trying to make as many videos as I possibly can. Just really um, been excited about it all. Been excited about being back, and 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 you know, again, trying to every day make make a video at least uh, once a day, so I can just keep. Uh, uploading and yeah, it's been going pretty great so far. I'm, I'm very happy about the way that it, that it's worked out. Um, so hopefully you guys are as well. So this game we're going to be playing against the Rek'Sai, which is an interesting matchup. It's it's one of those uncommon but actually pretty damn strong champion that we're seeing in this in this meta. So um, yeah, Rek'Sai not not that popular. Uh, the reason why again you're not seeing him banned or anything like that or her. Sorry, it's a it's in her. Um, but yeah, we, we, you're not banning uh, Rek'Sai because she's not very popular. But um, when you when you do see some some good Rek'Sai players, you actually wonder why she's not that that banned because she's really really strong. And uh, especially since they reworked her ultimate, she's been uh, she's she's been pretty dominant with that new ultimate. So the the the, the window uh, versus a Rek'Sai is going to be in that early game. Um, so you do have a little bit more power in the early game than a Rek'Sai. Again, most of those melee junglers that you're going to be facing, almost every jungler is melee. Um, and Nidalee has that advantage, which you can use in the early game. It's one of the reasons why Nidalee is so good early game. She has good ranged damage. And on top of that, she has very good mobility with her W. So she can just kite around and, and, and keep poking and, and just try to get those early trades working, for, uh, working in her favor in the early game. Um, and it's the reason why you can invade so easily on Nidalee again. You just kind of walk up, you use your, your auto attacks, you poke, and especially with a red buff, you're doing some pretty decent damage with your autos. And it's hard to, uh, it's, oh, what? I jumped the wrong way here, my bad. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's go see at the, at the blue. Okay, Rek'Sai not here. I wonder where she is. So we're gonna steal the Gromp. I have my uh, my smite soon. She might have started blue. I don't know. Maybe she was expecting an invade, and for that reason, she. Uh... I actually used my Q on a minion on accident there. I queued the minion. That's really unfortunate. And you see the problem with Nidalee is that her Q is in the auto attack and you can't bind it. So that there's a bind in League where it's only champion. So it's like champion only um, when you're using a targeted spell. You can use it for that. Um, but again, uh, you can't do that with Nidalee's Q because it is an auto attack. And that just doesn't work. Um, and it, you have these situations with when you, when you play Nidalee. Where you're just gonna find yourself doing these stupid things. You're gonna use your Q, like you're gonna flash Q in to try to kill someone, and then it's gonna hit the tower. It's gonna hit someone else, and it's it's pretty frustrating. It's it's one of those interactions that I'm not a fan of in Italy, like with Nidalee. I wish that her Q had sort of a champion uh, priority for some reason. I just think it, it would make it a lot easier to play, and and it would make it a lot less frustrating. So there's two cannon minions mid here. We're going to try to pick up at least one of those. See, oh, was I close enough? I wasn't close enough. Damn it. Let's see here if I can get, well, hold on. Let me just get close enough for that one here. Just so I can get the, uh, I just wanted the, the orb on that, on that minion. I need it to die when I'm, when I'm around. I'm going to move back here. Just kill it. Just kill the cannon, dude. It's gonna die under her turret, probably. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Well, I'll pick it up anyways, but it's still I have to go super deep to pick it up. There you go. Yeah, that sucks. It just made me waste my time here and show myself on the map like a bunch of times. Rex size bot. Wait, actually, I think she's dead. Die, die. <gasps> yeah, she's dead. Okay, I'm going. Maybe we can make this work. I don't know. There are a lot of minions here. You can't be serious. Oh my god. 
That was so bad. That was really unfortunate there. I played that pretty badly. Man. Yeah, Vayne early game is just really strong. It's so stupid. And Caitlyn doesn't do much damage when she doesn't have attack speed. So that was just a bad bad play there. I really thought we could just kill the, the Brome a lot more easily. I could have flashed on him. I did have my flash. But I was just taking a lot of damage, I think, from the minions too. It's just just a bad play overall. Wait, actually, maybe I can gank her. Oh my god, that's not here. Wait, please go. Oh my god, I wasted my W. Fuck my life. Are you serious? I actually wasted my W because I thought the um, I thought that thing was there. And it wasn't. And I don't know why it wasn't there. I think Rexai might have used it when, when she ganked bot lane. Oh, that's so unfortunate, man. I could have killed her really easily. I just... It made me waste another four seconds, which gave her the time to back off. Yeah, that's another unfortunate play there. Okay, our mid lane got a kill. Good job. Yeah, this game so far, not not great. I mean, honestly, those bot ganks. I don't know what's up with bot lane. When, when, whenever I gank bot, I always die. Every time I gank bot, like almost 80% of the time I gank bot, I never come out with like a positive outcome. Um, maybe it's just this m mental thing where I just always remember the ones that I die and don't remember the ones that I that I do well. But I have this fear of ganking bot because it's that 2v, it's like that 2v1 or it's like that, that 3v2 and it just doesn't work out too well. And whenever you gank a solo lane, whenever you gank mid, for example, well, it's 2v1. If you gank, um, and if you, you, you gank top, it's 2v1. If you gank their junglers, it's, it's, it's 1v1. But whenever you gank bot, there's that, yeah, they're getting shit on bot. And now this is going to snowball out of control. Vayne 5-0 and in 7 minutes into the game. This is not good. I fucked up that bot lane there. That's my bad. And we're probably going to lose out of that. I mean, that's going to be really hard to come back from. I can't help them out. Bot lane is just this, again, it's this lane that's super um, hard to gank, but then whenever you snowball a bot lane, you can basically win off of that. And I messed it up there by doing the gank that I did. I'm going to help out mid here. See if I can help bot now. I'm 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 going. I'm going in on that. I don't know, we can't dive her though. Okay, good stuff there. So picked up two free kills, and um, and that's gonna work out really well for our team. So everyone's doing great. The only kills on their team are on the, on the vein. So yeah, I'm dead there. Wow, good play from her. I didn't expect her to wait for me there. Interesting. Wow, I got fucking wrecked right there. Holy shit. I was not expecting to get ganked right there. Okay, we're gonna pick up an early sheen, and we're um, we're gonna be on our way to building a. Um, Lich Bane. So I'm really going to go for the Lich Bane build this game. I want to snowball this game. And since I'm doing so well and all of our lanes are actually winning except for bot, we're going to try to snowball other lanes so hard that Vayne can't carry. That's going to be my goal this game. I'm gonna, I want to snowball that, that, that Fizz. I want to snowball top lane. I want to snowball everyone so that they are so fed that whenever bot lane decides to start roaming and whenever they, they get out of that bot lane, they're going to face champions that are super fed. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't fight them here, so I'm just going to get out. Sorry, I had something in my eyes. Yeah, and it's working out right now because top lane's doing great. Mid lane's doing great. I can't say that I have anything to do with uh, with mid lane, but I had to do with top lane. Whenever When I ganked, get, got the first blood there, and I think it helped out a little bit. And now they're winning really hard, so say bot, play safe. We carry other lanes. 
See if that makes any sense to them. I'm actually getting that guy right here. Are you serious, dude? I can't believe he died to that. Yeah, now they're going to start roaming, so they have to be careful. Yeah, the, of course. I mean, now the the bot lane's going to roam mid, and they're going to start getting the the advantages in other, in other lanes. That's what you want to do when you snowball a lane. You want to help out your other lanes so that you can translate that win into... Uh, into a team win. Okay, there's a cannon here. We're just gonna pick that up so we can get some extra extra souls. So we're at 82 souls, not too bad actually. For 11 minutes in the game, it's actually really damn good. Pick this here as well. I'm gonna run here, they're following me actually. I'm gonna ward right there just to make sure that if they decide to Well they actually keep on they're they're going they're going deep. They are going deep. That's not the real one. That's the fake LeBlanc. Okay, so Fizz is actually going in on their Yeah, there you go. Good stuff. So Fizz I think Fizz can actually deal with uh There we go. Fizz can actually deal with Ravain pretty uh, pretty well. Wait, no, I want the souls. Give me them souls, baby. Come here. Okay, their blue's up in 10 seconds, or 15. I don't know if I can steal that in time. Okay, they want to grab the Herald. That's a good idea. I agree, I agree. Good call, good call. Herald's better than their blue. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Let's pick it up. Okay, I have a lot of gold now, so we're probably going to want to go back very soon after this. I'll pick it up. I think we can throw that mid. Throw me a lantern if I need it. Thanks. Nice. Okay, really happy about how that's uh, that's played out right there. So we finally... Oh, I'm, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. Oh, shit. I'm stupid. Okay, never mind. They don't need it. They don't need it. Okay, we still have the Herald. So we got the turret without needing to use the Herald, which is really good. Yeah, this is stressful right now because I want to go back and I also want to clear my jungle before I go back, but they're actually shoving really hard, so we're going to have to go mid. Fizz is bot. Oh shit, we could have killed her right there. <gasps> okay, she flashed. Oh, I thought she wasn't going to die there. Oh my god, I couldn't get the damage off before I died. That's on That's on me. I could have actually ran away there, and I just decided to follow up like an idiot, and I died. Um, we're going to grab Mercury Strez, I think. Uh, well, you know what? No, they have a lot more AD than they have AP. It's just that LeBlanc, but we're dealing with her really well. So we'll just grab the Ninja Tabbies here, and I will I will have enough for a finish go. So I'll, I'll purchase that. Again, we still have the Herald. We can use Herald as a distraction for Baron. If we want to pop it, bot, and go Baron. We don't have time. Yeah, I actually agree. Never mind. Yeah, I just realized that the Herald buff is actually going to... 
is going to expire before the Baron starts, so it's not going to work out what I wanted to do. That was a bad idea. Well, I saw that. Uh, I saw a few people talk about that strategy. Man, that fucking Fizz is taking him on like 2v1. Holy shit, what a god. Holy shit, that hurts. Yeah, we sh we still have that. Oh my god, I almost got it. Wait, we're doing such a good push right now. What the hell? We're at their inhib tower. I don't know how we got there. Wait, I actually hit the vein there with a 500 damage spear. Sweet. Wait, that was so good. What the hell happened? So for some reason, we actually just came out of nowhere and started doing really, really well with that Fizz making two picks on their mid and AD carry. I'm really surprised that Vayne with five kills wasn't able to um, translate those kills into a bigger lead for her team. She just doesn't seem to be doing all that much. And she does have... Um, I don't have Smite. She does have like two big items. She already has Infinity Edge and, and, and Static Shiv, so she should be really carrying. But I guess that Fizz can get through her their front line and, and give her a lot of trouble here. So... Yeah, really great Fizz player. I'm really happy that we had that player on our team so that um, so I didn't have that much pressure on my shoulders. Wait, hold on. He's going to die here, I think. Damn. Yeah, he got killed by like three of them. Oh, what the hell? That landed? No, you're not. No, you're not. Wait, they flashed ignited on me. What the hell? Get the heck. Oh shit. Yeah. I got ulted there, I think. By the Rek'Sai. Yeah. I just got my Zongas, which would have saved my life there, I think, but... Still. A pretty good pick that we got. Um, we got two kills. They were trying to go for that tower. They just dove me and they just like flash ignited everything. And they, they couldn't kill me there. And uh, yeah, good for me. My team followed up and we were able to pick up the kills. Now, an item that I could get here is definitely in Athens on Holy Grail. It gives you 30 magic resistance. So I was looking at getting Merc Treads for the, the LeBlanc and just to get a bit bit of magic resistance. But I think that um, that Colossus of Armony and that that um, 30 magic resistance from the um, Athens on Holy Grail is going gonna, is gonna to do the job here. It's going to be pretty good. Again, it doesn't give me that much emrez. I'm very, very vulnerable to uh, to the LeBlanc. But still better than nothing. And also we're we're on a we're on a game here where our teammates are pretty fed and we're gonna just try to help them out and try to give them some help. And building building Athenes is definitely that item. It's that item that's trying to help out your team and Okay, so we we got pressure mid here. Wait, what the hell? I have Zangas. Oh my god. Nice. We can end. Okay.
hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna explain to him after the game. Cause I am Oh! Nice. Just going for the win here. GG well played. There we go. Nice. Great, great, great game. I love this one. What a great game right there that we had. This is one of those where you guys wanted to see this. I think this is one of the best ones I've had so far where we had a really bad early game. And I've, I've had that question and that request before from people, you know, in, in the chat or in the comments in my videos. Like, you know, we want to see games where you're struggling early and you're, you're able to win the game anyways. And this is one of those. So really, really happy about the results of this game. Fizz, really hard carried. I mean, we were in a tough spot in this game. And this Fizz brought it out, killed Vayne a couple times on his own, was really putting that extra bit of damage in the fights. And I'm really happy of, again, being able to have that, that player on my team that was helping out um, to be able to snowball after that. And we got a few picks. And you guys, I think you guys understand how that works when you start at, at a disadvantage on Italy. You want to just keep farming you want to keep making picks and keep trying to go for objectives in lanes that are winning and mid was winning top was winning and i was playing around them and the second that i went bot the lane that was not doing that great i lost and i started you know feeding and all that so i think that's a lesson that i can learn as well like just stop going for lanes that are that are losing stop trying to make picks because it, it actually makes it even worse right you're trying to help and then you end up dying and then you help end up giving them a huge advantage or a bigger advantage they, they had in the first place um yeah really happy about this game i thought it was great and i'm gonna keep playing keep trying to make videos today and uh yeah leave your comments below i love reading them as always love you guys and i'll see you soon